Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today, we're going to spend a little bit of time investigating just a few of the products from Battery Tender, and we're going to look at a couple of different scenarios of different batteries, some that you are going to be able to charge, and some of them, well, they're just too far gone and you can't bring them back. So if you're ready, we'll dive into this subject. So the three chargers we're going to be looking at from Battery Tender is one of their smallest, a little 800 milliamp unit, and then one of their older 1.5 amp charging units, and then one of their newer 4 amp. Now the biggest difference in between this one and the other two is it can only do lead acid and AGM type batteries, whereas the other two, they can handle the lead acid, the AGM, as well as the lithium ion. Other big advantage is, well, these are a little bit smarter than the one in the middle. Now this one may be able to handle just your regular batteries, but for the cost difference, I think it's worth it just to go ahead and go with the newer technology. But at any rate, we're going to look and see what they can and can't do when it comes to batteries. Now all these batteries, they may look the same as far as the makes and models on this end and this end, but believe me, they're very different. One came out of a unit, it was in service, it was a little bit weak, we're going to see if we can bring it back up. The one right here, now this one is brand new, it has a total runtime of about two minutes. But guess what? It stayed in the machine out in a, a container at the very back of our parking lot for about eight months. So that means it went through a very harsh summer and then most of a winter and it is not in good shape. So we went to turn the key and of course it did not do anything. Now the one over on my left, this is a brand new unit, just been serviced and it is ready to go. The one next to it, same make and model, it was serviced, set up, and then sat on a shelf for the better part of a year. Now can we bring that one back? So let's break out our voltmeter and start taking a look at these and see what can be repaired and others that can't. So let's take a peek, voltage DC, and see what we have in this one. Looks like it should be in good shape, huh? 1.1. I just don't think that's going to cut it. <laughs> so let's see what happens when you try to hook up a charger to something like this. We've got it set. 12 volts. AGM flooded. Let's see what we can do with this one. I think we all know the answer to that already, but let's take a peek. As you can see, the battery voltage has not changed at all. It knows it can't do anything with this battery. Now let's bring in one that was in service. Take a reading on the voltage. We are sitting at 12.99 volts. Now that I'd already restored this one, so it is good to go. So if we put our charger on it, it sends in a lower voltage to begin with and senses the battery and the type of uh, condition that it's in. Now it's going to bring it up just a few tenths of a volt and determine what kind of shape it's in. And if it determines that it is chargeable, it's going to ramp up and there, there she goes. And it's going to go up to around almost 15 volts and really start to charge it. Now you notice that the green light, it is starting to blink and that means that it is already determined that this battery is greater than 80%. Now what it's going to do is continue charging just to top it off. Now what you would find if you left this battery connected up, it will go through the full charge cycle and then leave it alone. And at that point, it, when it falls below a certain threshold, it would then top it off again, just like it's doing right now. And there you go, full charge. I knew it wasn't going to take that long. This one just got topped off. Now let's take a look at a battery that has been sitting a little bit and has not been topped off. Like I said, it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. Let's see where it is. Lim point nine, looking rather weak. So let's get our charger hooked up and we'll see it go through the same routine it did on the damaged 
unit over here and then you'll see it go into full charge mode. So it sees the battery, is sending in, well, let's call it a test voltage, ramps it up just a little bit, and then once it's sure that the battery can be charged, then it'll start really feeding in the voltage. There we go. Now it's starting to ramp it up. It's gonna take it to about 13, 14 volts. Ah, oh, and she already thinks it's at 80%, but I guarantee you, it's going to take a lot longer to bring it up from 11.9 to 12.9 than it did with this other battery. But that's basically what your lights are telling you and what's going on as it's trying to charge a battery that can be charged. Let's bring over our much smaller charger. We only have two choices, lead acid or the lithium. It's just going immediately into charge mode. But as you can see, it doesn't have near the muscle that the larger 4 amp can do. So you can imagine that it is going to take quite a while for this particular unit to bring that battery all the way up. But it can get the job done if you've got the time. All right, this one's going to continue to charge until it tops it off completely. It just went over to 80% until it hits 100% and then it's going to go solid green. Now let's take a peek at our old school standard charger. This one can't do anything special, can't do 6 volt, it's 12 volts straight up, pretty simple. It, it does have smart technology so it knows where it is as far as uh, in the charging process but not nearly as sophisticated as one of these other two. So let's hook it up. It senses it and just goes straight into charging. And in a few seconds, it should figure out, yes, that it is at 80% at least, and it's gonna to continue to charge until it hits 100%. Now, if you leave this connected up to it, it's gonna hold it there until it senses that it's dropped down too much, and then it's gonna start the process over again to bring it back up. So next, this is a lithium ion battery. And of course, this one doesn't know what to do with it. But let's see what our voltage is. Right at 13, and we're gonna start the same process, but it's gonna be a little bit different than the AGM. We're in lithium mode. Now it sees the battery, sending in a small trickle voltage, making sure it's chargeable and now it's gonna start bringing it up. It's gonna do it very incrementally and very slowly. That's what's important about the lithium ions. They have to be charged at a different rate. And it takes some special electronics on the inside to be able to deal with that, sense where the battery is and how to step it up to the proper voltage. And of course, when it's at 80%, It'll turn that light flashing green, and then when it's done, it'll be solid green. And that means it's completely charged, which is gonna be a while because this one had not been put into service yet. So this is its first charge period. So you can count on it being on the table for six to eight hours. More, more than likely is what it's gonna to take to charge that one all, all the way up. Well, all right, guys, there you go. Pretty simple to do, I'm just walking you through some of the basics of the battery tender series. Now it is up to you if you can just get away with using a lead acid AGM charger, nothing wrong with this one at all. But me, I'm looking for more flexibility because I've got units with lithium ion batteries, I even have an old CT90 with a six volt. And this particular unit can do all of the above. Well, listen, if you need these chargers, batteries, or anything else for your machine, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm talking about or working on next. Listen, we just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.